Christian Business Connection, connecting your business or ministry to the world. Good morning and welcome to the CBC Christian Business Connection radio show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. Here I go. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. That's real in my soul, friends. That is real in my soul. Can't stop saying it because it is the day. God made this day for you. He made this day for me. We got some custom design blessing packages in there because I can't take yours. You can't take mine. God knows what each one one of us needs and he is doing it oh bless his name today bless his name because we have a fantastic show but you know we do every single week simply because God is in the midst of it he's in the midst of it and so I'm so excited about my guests but before I get to them I want to tell you to mark your calendar please mark your calendar for Friday July 15th for it will be the new ministry launch of Nona Thomas Worldwide Ministries I tell you the Lord is going to do some great things at this ministry launch. I want you to come out and experience the glory of God for that is truly what is going to happen there. He's going to meet us there and his Shekinah glory is going to fall. That's going to be Friday. July 15th at the Word at Shaw, located at 4265 Shaw Avenue, right there across the street from the Missouri Botanical Garden. We're going to have a good time. I also want you friends to, to just note that the Nona Thomas Worldwide Ministries will be hosting a women's retreat. That's right, a women's retreat on October 14th through the 16th, and that's going to be located at the Sojourn Christian Retreat in Dittmer, Missouri. Oh yeah, our theme is you are refreshing for the next level. So give me a call at 314-270-2225 if you would like to be a part of what God is going to do in October. Oh, yeah, some great things are coming up. And we just give God ahead of time the glory, the honor, and the praise because he and only he is doing it. Well, let's get to our guest today. We're so blessed because our CBC July author of the month is none other than Apostle Frank Bio. We're going to be talking throughout this month about his revolutionary and amazing book, The Watchman Sees Two. Seeing beyond what you see, a more sure word of prophecy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't want to miss any of what we're going to be talking about on that book. It is a right now on time word. And we just thank God for the work that Apostle Frank Bio is doing. We're also going to have on the program this morning, Chef Catherine Smith. She is the owner, the creator of Umami Catering and Events. That's right. I said it, Umami. I love the name of her business. And she's also going to kick off for the month of July our new healthy cooking series on the lighter side. So we got some great things that are starting in July, and we just thank God for that. So excited about what she is doing and what God is doing in her business. We also have on the program this morning, Minister Gia Allman of Be Real and Be Healed Women's Ministry. The Lord is doing some great things within her ministry, and she's going to talk about Be Real and Be Healed. We also have on the program this morning, Mrs. April Fuller Kelly of Tyra Banks Cosmetics. She's been coming on the program and it's just a joy to have her talk about the great things that are going on within her business. She's got some new things to talk about, so we can't wait to hear that. So friends, you know, I I just can't tell it all. It's just packed. The show for kicking off July, July 3rd, right here on the CBC radio show is ready, ready to go. So don't you go anywhere. Stay with me and when we come back, We're going to be talking this morning with Apostle Frank Bayo, who is our CBC July Author of the Month. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Come and experience the glory of God at the ministry launch service for Evangelist Nona Thomas Worldwide Ministries. The celebration will be held at the Word at Shaw Church, located at 4265 Shaw at Tower Grove, located across the street from the Missouri Botanical Garden. Doors open at 6.30 p.m. Service starts at 7. For more info, call 314-270-2225. This is an open-door service. Come and experience the glory of God.
Ladies, you are invited to a special women's retreat hosted by myself, Evangelist Nona Thomas, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, October 14th through 17th at Sojourn Christian Retreat, located in Dittmer, Missouri. Our theme for this retreat is your refreshing for the next level. One cost includes bus transportation, two-night accommodations, meals, snacks, pampering, giveaways, and so, so much more. This time of refreshing is for your next level that God is preparing you for. Call 314-270-2225 to get more information. Don't miss what God is doing at this retreat. Good morning, everybody. My name is Vance Watt. I'm the worship arts pastor at the Word at Shaw Church here in St. Louis, Missouri, where we serve the community in word and in deed. I'm so excited to be here this morning on the CBC radio show with evangelist Nona Thomas. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to you and your family to come worship with us at the Word at Shaw at 11 a.m. on Sunday morning. We're located at 4265 Shaw Boulevard, St. Louis, Missouri, 63110. Or you can visit our website at www.thewordatshaw.org. God bless. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you at the top of the program, we're so excited about our July Author of the Month. This man of God has written another revelant now on time word in this book. And so I'm so excited. I want to get right to it. I want to welcome to the CBC radio show, the July author of the month, Apostle Frank Bio. Good morning, Apostle. Good morning, Evangelist. And how are you this blessed day? Well, I am wonderful. And, you know, I ask everybody this question when they come on the CBC radio show, and I almost gave it away. But I'm going to ask you, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Yes, it is. I will rejoice and be glad in it. You get a gold star, Apostle. You get a gold (laughs) star. That's the right answer. (laughs) Well, I tell you, the the Lord has been so gracious, and he's been blessing you. And, you know, this month uh, we're featuring your new book or your latest book, The Watchman Sees 2, Seeing Beyond What You See. And this is a sequel to the first book, right? Yes, yes, it is. I think it would be important to set the foundation on how God gave you the first book and how now we will go into the second. Does that make sense, Apostle? Yes, it does. Yes, well, it does. Go right ahead. Several, several years ago, I was teaching at a school of ministry here in Bradenton, Florida, and uh, we decided that we were going to do the uh, curriculum on the book of Revelation, but not doing it chronologically, you know, chapter one, two, three, but rather doing it topically, because it's a lot easier for people to grasp topically rather than the tediousness of going through chapter and verse. And so that's what led us into uh, the format that I used in the first book, in The Watchman Sees. The first chapter, for example, is Behold a Fig Tree. Jesus talks about that in Matthew 24. And then at the ve- end of that, he says, Look up for your redemption, draw us nigh, which is chapter 2. But there's many other topics that we cover, world financial crisis, conspiracy are real, the false prophet, the antichrist. And the thing is, is that book was written in 2012, and mm-hmm. at that time was just at the transition when the new pope came in, and all of a sudden we added an addendum, but it was, we thank the Lord, the publisher was able to put it at the tail end of that chapter on the false prophet, and we have seen many of the things that were said in the Watchman Thieves book one being fulfilled as a matter of fact, prophecy is no longer foretelling as much as it is as explaining current events. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. And right. what's so in, in, important here is in these end times, which are so severe, everything is it's, it's just like playing out. It's, 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 you know, God is speaking. He's spoken to you. And also your uh, co-author of this uh, book, Apostle Halton Horton, as yes. well. And so, you know, we need this direction and revelation in these end times, Apostle. Exactly, exactly. The, the the fact that we're, what we're seeing is, uh, which then leads us to the new book, is looking, uh, seeing beyond what you see, because the fact is that we, op- if we're only operating in the sense realm or in the flesh, 
Mm-hmm. We're not going to see the spiritual entities that are operating and functioning behind the scenes, which are actually the cause to what we're seeing in the natural realm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay? The, the fact that what we're seeing is, that's the phrase, seeing beyond what you see. Paul says we're not wrestling against flesh or blood. In other words, uh, we're not dealing with individuals that may not necessarily agree with me theologically, politically, or whatever. The fact is that there's a spirit that is at work which is bringing a division not only amongst people but also within denominations and religions etc this book brings clarity this book is not designed to bring fear it's to inform and not to fear yes 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 as i said it's it's revelation (laughs) it's revelation Uh, having read the first book um when i heard that there was you know part two or the or the sequel i'm like oh yeah and then Mm -hmm. another portion that you say about the book it's a more sure word of prophecy and we need that right now apostle yes yes the, the problem is that we have, it, where I'm located at, at a place called Christian Retreat, and it's a, it's a community, if you will, mm-hmm. uh, we're privileged that we have approximately 10 to 11 different Christian television stations that are broadcasting 24 hours a day. And evangelists, I'm going to tell you this, you'll be hard-pressed to get that sure word. Mm. Let me give you a quick example. Uh, We're no longer hearing about the cross. We're no longer hearing about the blood of Jesus. We're no longer hearing about the power of the name of Jesus. You see what I'm saying? It's almost what we thought and learned as core values as we were growing up have been so diluted that we'd be hard-pressed to find the core values of our faith. So therefore, by introducing or reintroducing, if you will, a a true, sure word, what we're saying is, we're going to get back to the roots, the root of the matter. We're going to get right down to the basics, and we're going to start reestablishing that foundation that is the core value of what we believe. That's it. That's it. Because so many things have crept, uh, secular things have crept into the church. Exactly. Okay? Uh, uh, and, 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 you know, we're, we're being pressed to go ahead with the flow of what's going on in the world. And, exactly. and you know, uh, the, the Bible has changed. That was old school. And now uh, that but that's a lot because God's word has not changed. Exactly. It's the same. The scripture says it's the same yesterday, today, and forever. It doesn't change. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. so the Bible says what it means, and it means what it says. It, it, so the fact is that my heart cries out, as, as Jehoshaphat said in the Old Testament, is there not a true prophet in the land? Mm-hmm. And, you, and when Elisha took up the mantle from Elijah, he said, where is the God of Elijah? And, and the voice that's coming out of the apostolic, the fivefold ministry gifts today, is that voice that's screaming in the wilderness, is there not, uh, where is the God of Elijah? Where is the God of, uh, uh, of all of the prophets that declared the word? And, and, and the fact is that we're hard-pressed to see it today because we have diluted the gospel to such a degree where we just want to make people feel good. Yeah. Yeah. You see, and that's not the scripture. The scripture confronts us with the sin issue from Genesis to Revelation. It's mm-hmm. confrontational. Yes. Yes. But yes. it also it also gives us the answer to the sin issue. Yeah. <laughs> the sin issue. You're right about it, Apostle. You're right about it. You know, I want to let my listeners know. That if you're just tuning in right now, we're talking with Apostle Frank Bio, the July CBC author of the month. We're talking about his new hot off the press book, The Watchman Sees Two, Seeing Beyond What You See, A More Sure Word of Prophecy. Now, Apostle, uh, yes. where can people get a copy of this book? Well, they can, they can uh, contact me. There is a website that I do have, which is uh, bioministries at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. And also my website is bioministries.org, um, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Okay. Um, just, just count to three, Apostle, and start that sentence again with, uh, with saying it you know, clearly. Okay. The, the way you can obtain a copy of this book is by our website, which is bioministries at gmail.com. And then also our uh, bookstore is on gmail of bioministries.com. Dot org. Okay, very good, very good. Now, because the 
uh, the revelation, the teaching that is in this book. Apostle, are you available? I'm sure you travel if there's a, a churches or ministries that want to bring you in to teach on this matter. Are you available for that? Yes. As a matter of fact, there's con- uh, contact information on the website, bioministry.org, and it has all uh, my contact information uh, email address, telephone numbers, and etc. And I will certainly be more than glad to respond to any and all invitations. Wonderful. I also want to let my listeners know that you can go to the website of the CBC Radio Show dot com, and you will also find information about the book. Um, Apostle, we're just about out of time, and we're going to we're going to be featuring you all throughout the month of July. But is there anything else you'd like to say in closing, sir? Just the fact is that, you know, look up. Your redemption draweth nigh. Don't panic as to what you see. To be forewarned is to be forearmed. This book is going to do nothing more but give you and put you into a position of strength. For I recognize that the Church is going to be restored to the Church that the Bible says, without spot, blemish, or wrinkle, the victorious Church. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Apostle Frank Bio, our CBC July Author of the Month. Thank you, sir. You're quite welcome, Evangelist. Be blessed. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Good morning and welcome back to Dr. Tebow's Carol Healthy Living Tips. You know that you'll be trying certain foods that look so appetizing, but you might have other issues in the end, such as diarrhea. Diarrhea can be caused from certain foods and toxins that you eat, which in turn can cause a loose, watery stool. Therefore, I would like for you to make sure during your 4th of July travels to prepare your body before you leave home by, number one, eating a lot of fresh garlic. This helps for antibacterial and antiviral purposes. Number two, use plenty of bottled water, bottled water, not just for drinking purposes, but for also brushing your teeth. Avoid ice that is not from your home in other drinks because this will avoid you from having diarrhea. Number three, please bring your probiotics with you. This will keep your intestinal system flourishing. Another cause of diarrhea that you will have during this holiday season will be headaches that could all lead to that. Please try your best to avoid a lot of sugary products and try your best to incorporate green leafy vegetables at the cookout. Also, the humidity might be a little bit hot and can cause anyone who has asthma to flare up. So don't forget that if you're in St. Louis, we are in the top 10 for the worst cities with asthma. So I want you to keep that vitamin C handy because it will lessen the spasm of your bronchial passages. And number two, make sure you keep your lavender and your eucalyptus oil handy. Last but not least, when you return from your trip from the holiday season, or before you start your holiday season, get adjusted with chiropractic. Chiropractic will help keep your system properly functioning in order to thrive at its best. Your nervous system controls so much of your body, and we want to keep it in fine tune. Fourth of July will keep you happy, full of love, fellowship with your friends and family. So remember, your health is important and your spine is too. Start now getting adjusted because it can make a big difference inside of you. If you would like to reach me, you can reach me at 636-336-8049, 636-336-8049. Happy holidays. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you at the top of the program, I was so excited because in the month of July, we are debuting our new healthy cooking series on the lighter side. And we're featuring this month none other than Miss Catherine Smith, the chef, the owner, the founder of Umami Catering and Events, LLC. So, I want to welcome this morning, Chef Catherine Smith. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. You are so welcome. Now, I didn't script you in this question, but I ask everybody this question when they come on the show. And that simply is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? It truly is. And I will rejoice and be glad in it. Girl, you got an A. Absolutely. You know, that. You, know you got a gold star. That's the right answer. 
<laughs> right. Well, amen. Amen. Well, you know, I am just so excited about this on the lighter side for healthy cooking. I believe we all need to make some adjustments sometimes in our Absolutely. in our in our menus and the things that we're doing. And here we are with the holiday. We're here on Sunday, July third. The fourth of July is tomorrow. Right. All right. And so I know there's some things to do. And you're going to come a little later in the program and give us our tip our tip our, on the lighter side for this week. But I want you to first start off by telling us, how did God give you the vision for this business? Well, actually, um, I'm glad you asked and started with that because I'm pretty sure that any gift that we have comes from the Lord. Mm-hmm. Um, with that said, I, I, I didn't grow up thinking that I wanted to be in cooking. Mm-hmm. I wanted to be a chef mm-hmm. or doing anything mm-hmm. in this in this spectrum. Mm-hmm. But uh, what happened was he literally just dropped it into my spirit into my lap, so to speak. So um, I come from a long line of wonderful cooks mm, in my family. Yeah. And so really where I get the, the bulk of my knowledge is from my family, my mother, watching my grandmother as she's rolling out the dough for chicken and dumplings <laughs> and things like that and kind of taking notes and seeing how things are done. But sure. mainly from my mom, who pretty much taught me just how things are done. Mm-hmm. You know, so that's really kind of where things started. Mm-hmm. But uh, to go a little further and being in church in the in my church home where mm-hmm. I'm at now, mm-hmm. um, I just ended up being the ministry leader for the culinary ministry. Mm-hmm. And so it kind of took off from there. So doing all of the events at the church, um, whether it be the repast, you know, mm-hmm. for uh, after a funeral mm-hmm. or if it's just a great anniversary celebration, anything that we have, that's mm-hmm. kind of how it started. And it just kind of cultivated from from there. You know, that's a great spirit of hospitality, don't you? I've been told. Yes. Yes, yes. I've been told. Yes. And what's so wonderful is and now I'm, I'm I'm a good as my children would say when I was when they were growing up, they say, Mom, you're a good cooker. But it's a difference between a good cooker and like a chef. It's really a difference. <laughs> you know? But, you know, they were well, my kids. So it worked, you know. Right. But you've been doing this now for so many years. And it started off really, as you said, watching watching Mama do it. Absolutely. And that that passion grew. It did. Absolutely. It grew. And I have to say that I really love it. I love what I do. Mm-hmm. And it it, it's, uh, the, it started with the cooking mm-hmm. aspect of it, mm-hmm. but it also turned into event planning mm-hmm. and, you know, as far as the decor of the room. Sure. And so I have to say it really is something that I love to do. It's hard work, mm-hmm. but I absolutely love it. Oh, indeed. And I'm glad you mentioned that because that is also the other part of your business, the events. Yes. You know, and, and just it, it, so when you you get to the beautiful buffet and walk into the buffet, you got to walk past some decor. In That's the room. correct. That's correct. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. So it's all one package, isn't it? It is all one package. I really believe that as far as your food is concerned, presentation is everything. But when you walk into the room, immediately you should be captured by what the room is saying to you. And it yes. should speak whatever that event is. Yes. So it's very, very important. It is. And what I have found now, you know, people don't want to come in and, and, and sweat and run around and get a team of people all the time mm-hmm. to set the room up and <clears throat> do this, right. that, and that. They just want to come in and just, you know, ha- just relax and, you know, not go through all that stress. And that's where you right. come in. Absolutely. That's where that's where we come in um, at Umami Catering and Events. It makes it very, very difficult sometimes for people. Uh, number one, they say, well, this is not what I do. I don't, I'm not, you know, a planner. I don't, I don't have the vision. I just know that it's my daughter's birthday Mm -hmm. or it's an anniversary. Mm -hmm. And I just know that I want it to be nice. So that's where we come in and we take whatever it is that they are envisioning and we just make it a reality. Well, I want to let my listeners know if you're just tuning in this morning, we're talking with Chef Catherine Smith of Umami Catering and Event planning. Now, folks are listening right now and they may have a birthday party coming up, a a wedding, you know, some type of event. And I know that you are able to accomplish two people to 200 people, correct? Sure. It's actually, we've actually gone a little further. Um, Right now, I think that we can basically manage up to 500. Wow. So up to 500, we've been doing really well. The Lord is truly, truly blessed. It's surely Him, isn't it? It's all Him. (laughs) All Him, yes. So how can people get in contact with you? Um, Basically, the best way to do it, they can email uh, me at umami catering at aol.com. That's spelled U M A M I C A T E R I N G 
at AOL.com. Or they can also call, phone us at 314-412-4119. Give me that number one more time, would you? Sure, 314-412-4119. Now, I know we can't tell our listeners what you've got in store for the whole month. You know, and you're going to be giving the first on the lighter side healthy cooking tip later in the program. I am. Uh, But is it going to be like maybe pertaining to the holiday, you think? It is. Absolutely. I think that's the perfect place to start. Yes, yes, yes. Now, uh, does it have to be where if I get an idea or if I have an event coming up, um, can you sit down with me and kind of give me a step by step, blow by blow on what you would suggest for this event? Absolutely. I I always take whatever the the, uh, client's dream is, whatever Mm -hmm. their vision is, and Mm -hmm. I definitely Definitely don't fail to incorporate that into what it is that we plan. So my suggestions are merely that suggestions to go along with to kind of enhance Mm -hmm. what they had in mind. Mm -hmm. And so I sit down with them. I let them know. And then they let me know if it works, if it and if it does, we we put it all together. I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm also excited because we've talked about uh, you being a part of the upcoming launch of a new ministry I have at the Word at Shaw. And I think that the fivefold would be excited to uh, to sample your wonderful and delicious food. What you think about that? I think it's a great idea. I think it's a great I, idea. So I do. Let me tell you, St. Louis, you're going to have an opportunity to meet this woman of God at that upcoming event, and you'll hear more about it. Well, I just want to thank you for being a part of the show. Is there anything else you'd like to say in closing? You know, I, I just want to thank you so very much for having me here and thanking the listeners for tuning in to this. And um, just be sure if you need anything, any questions, any Anything you need answered, any ideas, whatever it is, feel free to email me at umamicatering.com. Wonderful. We've got a whole month to just kind of pull on your on your brain to get all this exciting recipes, to get all these things that we can do to be on the lighter side. Amen. Thank you so much, Chef Catherine Smith, for being You're a part very, very welcome. of the CBC Radio Show. Thank you. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me, and don't forget to stay tuned for On the Lighter Side. You need your healthy cooking tip today. I'll be right back. This is Apostle Bio. I've been hosted on the program CBC, author of the month. I'm really excited to have been with uh, Evangelist Thomas. This is an exciting time. We're introducing our book, which is called The Watchman Sees Book 2, uh, Seeing Beyond What You See. The fact is that this book is not designed to bring fear, but it's to inform and to bless the individuals. It is a topical book. It's not chronological, but yet what it will do is it will inform you as to what is going on, and this is nothing more than a clarification or an explanation of current event. So therefore, be blessed. If you're interested in getting this book, which I know you will, I suggest that you contact me at bioministries.org or bioministries at gmail.com, and you'll have plenty of information on how you can order this book. But be sure you listen to the rest of the month, because we're going to be continuing to talk on this book, The Watchman Sees, book two, and this will be on this program, CBC Radio Show. The Lord bless you and keep you. Ladies, you are invited to a special women's retreat hosted by myself, Evangelist Nona Thomas, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, October 14th through 17th at Sojourn Christian Retreat, located in Dittmer, Missouri. Our theme for this retreat is your refreshing for the next level. One cost includes bus transportation, two-night accommodation, Accommodations, meals, snacks, pampering, giveaways, and so, so much more. This time of refreshing is for your next level that God is preparing you for. Call 314-270-2225 to get more information. Don't miss what God is doing at this retreat. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you at the top of the program, we were going to be speaking this morning with Minister Gia Allman, who is the founder of Be Real and Be Healed Women's Ministry. So I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show this morning, Minister Gia Allman. Good morning. Good morning. It is a pleasure to be here with you. Thank you so much for the invitation. I appreciate it 
so much. Amen. And, you know, I did not tell you I was going to ask you this question, but I'm sure you got it. And the question I ask everybody before we get started when they come on the show is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? It is. This and every day is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and we will be glad in it because every day there are brand new mercies and we just thank him and we praise him for that. Girl, you got the right answer. You got, you get an A. I'm going to give you a gold star. You want it. I got it. Yay, I love it. <laughs> well, you know, I, I love the name of your ministry. I have to ask you, how did God give you the vision for Be Real and Be Healed? It actually came about, I was part of another women's ministry and it disbanded. Uh, so I was like, I enjoy it and I want to continue it. I said, I'll, uh, another, me and another young lady said, we'll just keep it going. And I like things that rhyme. I like to use, you know, the same letter repetitively. So I was like, Lord, what should the name of this women's ministry be? And of course, you know, we go to church, we go to conferences, we hear the word so that we can be healed. But we also have to be real with some things too. Mm -hmm. uh, because sometimes when we are in a church setting, you know, we give the churchy cliche answers. Oh, I'm blessed and highly favored. Oh, God is so good. And we just toe up inside. Mm -hmm. And um, so, uh, so basically when I uh, started the, when I, when God gave me the name, it was just because I liked it and it rhymed. But now, um, since I am more mature in the Lord and I have had uh, some more experiences and like you said, and I'm so glad that you said that this is not my ministry. This is a ministry that God blessed me with and that he trusts me with. Mm -hmm. So now it's uh, really resonated in my spirit that uh, what God is looking for is for us to be real with him because he already knows it. He knows when you're angry about something. He knows when you're sad about something. He knows when you're perplexed about something. He made you. So he knows everything about you. And sometimes he's just waiting on us to tell him what's wrong so he can minister to us as to how we can overcome these things we can be conquerors and overcomers that's uh, right. that's over right. these things uh, that we face on a daily basis that's right and uh, what I like what you said was you know to be real with God and to be real with him to be real with ourselves to be real with others I mean it is way 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 past time that the mass should be coming off because we're in yes. such severe times people are hurting uh, yes. and they need to be real with themselves to really evaluate way where they are. And I'm sure that's where your ministry comes into play. Am I right? Exactly. Because a large part of the ministry is for us to um, take responsibility for some things, be accountable for some things. Yes, we have experienced some negative things in our lives. Some people have done things to us, uh, you know, very bad things in some cases. But in order to be healed, we need to deal with those things. And we also need to make the decision that I don't want this to control my life anymore. Mm -hmm. I want to uh, live in freedom, which is what God is calling us to do. He wants us to be free in him. He doesn't want us to be bound by anything. So uh, at some point, we have to, again, be real with ourselves, admit the things that sometimes we have done that have caused our own self misery. And uh, that is also part of the healing process. It is. It is. Now, I know that you have uh, a monthly or uh, a fellowship where you come together. And so you've just recently had something. You're going to have another one coming up in the month of July. Am I right? Yes. That one is going to be called The Search is Over. And this is for women that are in pursuit of the perfect man. It is going to be a three-part series. The first installment is entitled Are You the One? Uh, the second installment will be premarital counseling. And the third installment will be the commitment. So uh, if you can, and this one will be for ladies only. My last event was all in inclusive, but we're, we'll be back to in July, women only. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, tentatively, it will be at the St. Louis, I'm sorry, at the St. Charles Rock Road branch of the St. Louis County Library. The date is pending. Uh, and things change rapidly. Maybe the location will change. So if you need to reach me, uh, you can call 314-643-8018, or you may email me at guiaalman at gmail.com. That is G-I-A a-L-M-O-N at gmail.com. Give me the phone number one more time, would you? Sure. It's 
800-268-8018. Wonderful. I want to let my listeners know if you're just tuning in right now, we're talking this morning with Minister Gia Almond, who is the founder of Be Real and Be Healed Women's yes, Ministry. I know that the Lord uh, is doing some great things in your ministry. And, you know, there are some things that are coming up, as you mentioned, your July event. But I also feel in my spirit that God has even spoken some 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 other things, some some a conference, some other things that he's doing in the ministry. And I know that you're going to keep us abreast of that. Aren't you going to let us know so we can get I the word out? I will definitely keep you abreast of everything that's going on. And again, I do appreciate the platform. I do appreciate being able uh, to come on and um, present what the uh, Lord has entrusted me with. Indeed. And women who are listening right now, if they want to be a part of the ministry, uh, volunteers, I'm sure you need those types of things. Uh, am, am I right about that? Sure. Sure. All help is uh, definitely welcome. Good. Give us your phone number one more time. It is area code 314-643-8018. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Minister Gia Allman of Be Real and Be Healed Women's Ministry. Again, I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. And if I could just shout out Apostle Glennis Thomas, who graciously gave up her spot so that I could fill in today. So I do appreciate her also for the recommendation. Indeed. Apostle Glennis is doing a great work here in the city of oh St. Louis. So we thank God, God for I can't her. <laughs> wait for her to get on your show to yes. tell everybody yes. of all the great things that uh, God has entrusted her with and that she has in store. Oh, my God. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you, woman of God. We appreciate you so much. Thank you again. Have a wonderful day. All righty, friends. We're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Good morning, everyone. This is Catherine Smith of Umami Catering and Events, sharing healthy cooking tips on the lighter side. Well, guys, it's summertime, which usually means barbecue season, which we all love. So with the holiday right around the corner, here's how you can reduce calories without compromising flavor. Tip number one, implement grilled fish. It's quick, super easy, and delicious. You simply choose a firm, hearty fish that's able to withstand the heat of the grill, such as salmon, snapper, swordfish, tuna, just to name a few. Uh, it's fairly simple. The basics are just to marinate or dry rub and toss it on the grill. It's delicious and nutritious. Step number two, step outside of the norm with turkey ribs. Yes, I said turkey ribs. They're a lighter but extremely tasty alternative to the traditional pork ribs. They're meaty, tender cuts of white meat, and if prepared correctly, they will melt in your mouth. They have the lowest calories and fat content of any other meat, but more protein proportion. It's really good stuff. Tip number three, opt for a whole wheat pasta salad with slimmed down creamy dressing by making small changes like replacing the regular mayonnaise with a low fat mayo and adding lots of chopped vegetables that add flavor while keeping the calories low. Don't knock it till you try it. A final quick tip is to keep your meats unsauced and have your famous barbecue sauce on the side, dipping your meat to greatly reduce your caloric, sodium, and sugar intake. You won't miss the mess, trust me. Again, this is Katherine Smith with Umami Catering and Events. I hope you enjoy this segment on the lighter side. To book an event or for any questions you may have, please email us at umamicatering at AOL.com or call us at 314-412-4119. Again, that number is 314-412-4119. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, you know, we are just blessed, blessed, blessed to have on our program once again this morning, Mrs. April Fuller Kelly. You know, she is a beauty tainer with Tyra Banks Cosmetics. So I want to welcome back to the CBC Radio Show, Mrs. April Fuller Kelly. Good morning. Good morning. You know, I'm going to ask you the question now. You know the question. Is this yes, the day <laughs> that the Lord... Lord has made for you. Yes, ma'am, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. You always get that right. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> well, you know, I, when I think of as we've gone into this summer, you know, our, our summertime, the official season of summer we are in now, I think about vibrant colors. I think about, you know, just beauty. I don't, I don't know why. It just stands out to me. And, well, with that being said, as a beauty tainer with Tyra Banks Cosmetics, you've got everything for women to make that happen, don't you? Yes, ma'am. I sure do. Yeah, yeah. Tell us about Tyra Banks Cosmetics. Well, Tyra Banks Cosmetics is uh, Tyra's cosmetic line, and it's 
Uh, ladies, I tell you, it's awesome. Um, she, I don't even know where to start on this lady's products. They're just amazing. Um, <laughs> I use a lot of them. <laughs> and I'm always promoting them because they are awesome products. I know my, one of my favorite um, products that I um, just gave away <laughs> was uh, her blush. Uh, she has a blush product that comes in a stick. It's called Blush in a Stick. And, ladies, um, I love it. I mean, you just apply it to your cheek, or uh, some people apply it <laughs> as eyeshadow, but it's really for your cheek. It's called Cheek in a Stick, and it's it's just an amazing product. I mean, it's really light on your face. It's easy, easy to put it on. You can even use your fingertips. Like, all of her, her makeup is made because there's nobody, you know, like, if you are a uh, big-time makeup person like I am and you're always applying your makeup every day, um, sometimes you don't have time or you don't feel like grabbing a brush or anything, but she has it easy where you can take your feet, fingertip and just apply it with your fingers so you're not looking for a makeup brush or a makeup pad. <laughs> right. And that's what I love about it. <laughs> and, and, you know, that sounds great because I think uh... – you know, most mostly all women, we want easy. You know, we want where we don't have to go through a whole big fuss, and, and it's an easy application. And you can get that with Tyra Banks Cosmetics, right? Yes, ma'am, you sure can. Now, what about the lipsticks? You know, I'm a lipstick girl, so, you know, do you have a lot of um, uh, colors and, you know, uh, with moisturizer and all that good stuff? Okay, well, one of her lipsticks I like is long-lasting, but you can't, I'm going to be honest, you can't um, apply, uh, like, anything over it because it's a it's a dry lipstick so that it can last um for the 24 hours or the eight hours that it's supposed to last but if oh you put God. like a gloss or something over it it kind of like doesn't last as long but it's not designed um for you to put that stuff over it that's why it's a dry lipstick so that it can last for that length of time because i i love her um lipstick and one of the colors that i wear that she has is it's red and it's 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 an awesome color. I know, like, if you're a lady, usually us ladies, we go for red lipstick. <laughs> for me, I go for red or pink. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, yes. You know, we do like, we tend to like those vibrant colors. And I know <laughs> by going to your website, uh, we can get an idea of everything that is on the line. Am I right about that? You sure can. Yeah, give us your website uh, information. It's www.tyra dot com that's t y r a dot c o m uh, slash a fuller eighty seven. Give it to us one more time, would you? Yes, ma'am. It is www dot t y r a dot com c o m forward slash a fuller a f u l l e r eighty seven. Great, great, great. Now, tell me, can um, folks invite you into their home or into group settings uh, for you to give them a sampling of Tyra Bax Cosmetics? Yes, I would actually love it if you guys would invite me to your home so that I can show you the awesome products that um, she has to offer and even go through some things on the website um, and answer any of the questions that you guys may have about her products. And every month, what I love about Tyra is she comes out with a new, um, something new just for us. And it's it's always exciting um, that uh, when you have a CEO that loves the products, that's always trying to improve and trying to create something new for you guys. Um, a lot of our products are, like I said, they're just awesome. Like, they're unbelievably awesome, like, um, I also use, um, she has a couture. Um, at first I was laughing because I honestly did not know how to use it because <laughs> she didn't really have a, a instructions for them. But now she um, has instructions <laughs> so that you know how to apply the couture. Because when I first got it, I just would play around in it, but I didn't know how to apply it. But now she does have it where you can uh, see where you're supposed to apply the couture makeup, and it and it is flawless makeup. I mean, all of her makeup is flawless. Like if you have like things that you're trying to hide on your face, like me, I have sometimes I have like little brown spots or scars because I scratch. Like my husband, he just got on me for wearing my rings when I sleep because I scratched up my face a little bit. <laughs> I thank God for her makeup because it helps kind of hide it. 
<laughs> yes, yes, yes. Well, I, I'm excited about Tyra Banks Cosmetics and you, your title. You are a beauty tainer. I love that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> a beauty tainer. Well, um, for my listeners, if you're just tuning in this morning, we're talking with Mrs. April Fuller Kelly. She is a beauty tainer, a representative of Tyra Banks Cosmetics. We're just about out of time, but is there anything else that you'd like to say about this amazing uh, product? Yes, there's always um, deals with Tyra. I know some people don't like to spend a lot of money. Like right now we have specials and um, even with people that refer a friend, um, you will get uh, $10 for every friend that you refer to us. So it, there is ways that even if you don't want to sell her makeup or do anything like that, you can uh, refer friends and receive um, a benefit. You can receive $10 and it, it, uh, everything helps in this day and age. Wow, that's pretty good. Just for a referral? Yes, ma'am, just for a referral. <laughs> wow. Well, you hear that, St. Louis, you got to call. You got to get in contact. Go to the website for Mrs. April Fuller Kelly, a beauty tainer with Tyra Banks Cosmetics. Thank you so much for being on the program this morning. Thank you. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break. I'll be right back. Come and experience the glory of God at the ministry launch service for Evangelist Nona Thomas Worldwide Ministries. The celebration will be held at the Word at Shaw Church located at 4265 Shaw at Tower Grove, located across the street from the Missouri Botanical Garden. Doors open at 6.30 p.m. Service starts at 7. For more info, call 314-270-2225. This is an open door service. Come and experience the glory of God. Hi, this is Evangelist Nona Thomas inviting you to tune in to Hallelujah 1600 at 4 p.m. every Wednesday for the midweek message. Friends, let me tell you, this program will encourage you. It will inspire you. It will be the boost that will be right on time in the Word of God for your Wednesday afternoon. So tune in every Wednesday, 4 p.m. right here on Hallelujah 1600 for the midweek message with Evangelist Nona Thomas. To God be the glory. This is Apostle Bio. I've been hosted on the program CBC, author of the month. I'm really excited to have been with uh, Evangelist Thomas. This is an exciting time. We're introducing our book, which is called The Watchman Sees Book 2, uh, Seeing Beyond What You See. The fact is that this book is not designed to bring fear, but it's to inform and to bless the individuals. It is a topical book. It's not chronological, but yet what it will do is it will inform you as to what is going on, and this is nothing more than a clarification or an explanation of current events. So, therefore, be blessed. If you're interested in getting this book, which I know you will, I suggest that you contact me at bioministries.org or bioministries at gmail.com, and you'll have plenty of information on how you can order this book. But be sure you listen to the rest of the month because we're going to be continuing to talk on this book, The Watchman Sees, book two, and this will be on this program, CBC Radio Show. The Lord bless you and keep you. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you at the top of the program, we were going to be speaking this morning with Mr. Highland Stewart, the multi-level marketing executive right here in the metropolitan St. Louis area. I'm so excited to have him as a part of the program. So I want to get right to it. Good morning and welcome to the CBC Radio Show, Mr. Stewart. Good morning to my national evangelist, Sister Nona Thomas. How are you this morning? I am wonderful. I'm wonderful. Let, let me ask you, are you wonderful too? Because is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Truly, truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. And I am right now rejoicing in it. Amen. You got the right. You always have the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you, the Lord is doing some great things in your life and your business and your ministry, you and your beautiful bride, Sister Karen Stewart. Tell us about what's going on right now. I know those, there's some things that are hot on your mind, isn't it? Well, you know, to try and compress everything that's going on for the few minutes you're going to give me, the best way to tell it is that 
I'm involved in a business that you can be at home and do and have a global presence. And in that global presence, you can help people to change their lives for the better. And that's what just to sum it up in a few words. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, there's one word that I've heard you use before in describing your products and services, and that is residual. When it comes to talking about the opportunity, that's a good word, isn't it? Residual is very powerful because we aren't uh, NFL players, we're not singers, nor are we movie actors. Those entities get residual incomes for the rest of their life. And this business here shows you how to do the exact same thing without having a college education. My, 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 my. I know you have been a businessman. I, I, I wouldn't even try to put a, a how many years. The Lord has just been so good to you. And you've seen and been a part, I'm sure, of many things. But what is going on in the multi-leveling marketing opportunity that you're in is amazing, isn't it? Uh, it's so amazing that uh, the company went through a telecom age where it's now it's in the wellness age. And we just entered into the financial market mm-hmm. where we're able to offer financial products. Every business person that's been in business over the past three years, they have the opportunity to get some funding without a whole lot of paperwork. Now, that's a revelation right there. <laughs> That's going to be a godsend for many business owners, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, yes. Now, I also am aware that uh, this opportunity allows you to travel. Uh, You're not uh, restricted to a certain area. Uh, Your products and services are available for basically everyone everywhere. Is that right? Uh, We are in the United States, and we're also global. In fact, the company was ranked 84th worldwide. In 45, number 45 in the United States. So we're moving. Yes, yes. I want to let my listeners know that if you're just tuning in this morning, we're talking with Mr. Highland Stewart, a multi-level marketing executive right here in the St. Louis area. Now, how can folks contact you? Because I know there's information that you'd be willing to sit down and consult with folks on on this opportunity and how it can make a difference in their life. How can they reach you? They can reach me by phone. My number is 314-302-5710. My email address, D-O-S, D-E-L-I-S-T-5-4 at gmail.com. And they can also inbox me on Facebook under the title Highland Stewart. H-Y-L-A-N-D-S-T-U-A-R-T. Wonderful. You know, as we're talking about the opportunity and how wonderful it is, I think it would be uh, great to mention that this is something that couples can do together. You know, the Lord has blessed that you're able to be a part of this opportunity with your wife, Karen. That's a blessing, isn't it? It's truly a blessing because there are no pressure points in doing this business. Uh, each person, that, as they come together, they have separate phone lists. And imagine helping the people that are in your phone. And these are just not mere acquaintances. These are people that you probably talk to on a regular basis. But imagine helping them to save money. Then turn around and show them how to uh, produce residual income for the rest of their lives. Now, did you say residual income for the rest of your lives? Now, is, I just want to make sure I heard you say that right. Residual income for the rest of your life that if you should pass on is transferable to your family. That's how huge. Wow. Because, you know, now we're talking about legacy, aren't we? Yeah, we're talking about generational wealth. Mm-hmm. I'm about leaving the legacy, like the Bible says, to leave something. To leave something for your children. Yes, yes. Um because and we're going to have you back on the program during the month of June and you know I want uh Karen to talk about the 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 joy that it's been for her because I know it's been very fulfilling for her to be a part of this opportunity you think we can get Karen to come on the show with you as well I'm sure we can it's just a matter of arrangements you know arrangements are so important these days when we're both leading busy lives. Indeed, indeed. Now, I, I might even put her on the spot because not only is she a successful businesswoman, but she is definitely an anointed psalmist uh, who the Lord calls upon to use uh, throughout uh, the metropolitan area. And so uh, you think I could even put her on the spot and play some of her music? What you think? 
I'm sure we can. I'm sure we can. <laughs> Got to work it out. Well, I yes, want to thank you again. Is there anything else that you'd like to say in closing about this wonderful opportunity? No, just that uh, you should call me or inbox me to get further information because once you see this, it will be something like you've never seen before, you've never heard of before because it's just that different and it's just that simple to do from home. Yes, because I know there are people who are looking for something they can do at home, something that's going to work with their schedule. So thank you so much, Mr. Highland Stewart, multi-level marketing executive right here in the St. Louis area. Thank you for being here, my friend. Thank you for your time, Sister Nona. Have a blessed and awesome day. Indeed. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Come and experience the glory of God at the ministry launch service for Evangelist Nona Thomas Worldwide Ministries. The celebration will be held at the Word at Shaw Church located at 4265 Shaw at Tower Grove, located across the street from the Missouri Botanical Garden. Doors open at 6.30 p.m. Service starts at 7. For more info, call 314-270-2225. This is an open door service. Come and experience the glory of God. Hi, this is Evangelist Nona Thomas inviting you to tune in to Hallelujah 1600 at 4 p.m. every Wednesday for the midweek message. Friends, let me tell you, this program will encourage you. It will inspire you. It will be the boost that will be right on time in the Word of God for your Wednesday afternoon. So tune in every Wednesday, 4 p.m. right here on Hallelujah 1600 for the midweek message with Evangelist Nona Thomas. To God be the glory. Good morning, everybody. My name is Vance Watt. I'm the worship arts pastor at the Word at Shaw Church here in St. Louis, Missouri, where we serve the community in word and in deed. I'm so excited to be here this morning on the CBC radio show with evangelist Nona Thomas. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to you and your family to come worship with us at the Word at Shaw at 11 a.m. on Sunday morning. We're located at 4265 Shaw Boulevard, St. Louis, Missouri, 63110. Or you can visit our website at www.thewordatshaw.com. Org. God bless. Ladies, you are invited to a special women's retreat hosted by myself, Evangelist Nona Thomas, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, October 14th through 17th at Sojourn Christian Retreat, located in Dittmer, Missouri. Our theme for this retreat is your refreshing for the next level. One cost includes bus transportation, two-night accommodations, meals, snacks, pampering, giveaways, and so, so much more. This time of refreshing is for your next level that God is preparing you for. Call 314-270-2225 to get more information. Don't miss what God is doing at this retreat. Welcome back, my friends, to the CBC radio show. I tell you, we've had a great time. Every single show is simply blessed, simply blessed. And, you know, my guests today, they are so diverse. There are so many different uh, types of ministry and businesses. And I just thank God for what he's doing on the CBC radio show. Let me tell you, if you have a business, a ministry, or organization or you have an event coming up the cbc radio show is the place to come on and talk about what god is doing to get the word out about your event business ministry or your organization i love what i do i've been doing it for many 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 years and i love it and i'm not tired yet all right i love talking to God's people about the vision and the dream and how the things come to fruition and manifestation in their life. So I want to thank our CBC July author of the month, Apostle Frank Bio. Thank you, Apostle, for being a part of the CBC radio show. We've been talking this morning about your book, The Watchman Sees Too. Seeing Beyond What You See, A More Sure Word of Prophecy. Thank you, Apostle Bio. Thank you for being a part of the program. And also this morning, Chef Catherine Smith of Umami's Catering and Events LLC. You know, she kicked off our new series right here on the show show the new healthy cooking series on the lighter side and she has some great things some great ideas for the 4th of July holiday thank you so much chef smith and then we want to thank this morning 
Minister Gia Allman of Be Real and Be Healed Women's Ministry. She was a joy talking about the women's ministry and how it's a blessing to women. It's a safe place. It's a safe place. It's a safe place. So I thank you so much, Minister Allman, for being a part of the program today as well. And thank you so much, Mrs. April Fuller Kelly of Tyra Banks Cosmetics. Always a joy to have you on the program. There's a new cosmetic in town. All righty. And we thank God for you. We also thank God for Mr. Highland Stewart. Thank you for being on the program, Highland. He's a great friend. Him and his wife are joys. They are simply joys to the CBC radio show and the Christian Business Connection. Look, you can go to my website of thecbcradioshow.com to get more information about our guests. I want to encourage you women, 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 make sure you give me a call to be a part of the Retreat, the women's retreat coming up in October. That's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, October 14th through the 17th. It's going to be a Sojourn Christian retreat located in Dittman, Missouri. And our theme for this retreat is simply your refreshing for the next level. The cost includes your bus transportation. Two night accommodations, meals, snacks, pampering, giveaways, and much more. It really is your time for refreshing. So give me a call at 314 270 2225 to get more information about how you can be a part of what God's going to do at that retreat. And then, everyone, everyone, you're invited to the new launch of my new ministry, Nona Thomas Worldwide Ministries. That's going to be on Friday, July 15th at the Word at Shaw Church, located at 4265 Shaw. You know, that's right across the street from the Missouri Botanical Garden. All I can simply say is come and experience the glory of God. I thank God for what he's doing in the ministry. I just thank God. He's great. He's great. And he is greatly to be praised. So don't forget, give me a call at 314-270-2225. If you'd like to be a part of the women's retreat, if you want more information about the launch ministry, and then also about being on the program interviewed for your business or your ministry. I want to give you a closing word from Psalm 48, verse 10 in the NIV version. And it simply says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Friends, exalt the name of Jesus today. Exalt his name. As in closing, to God be the glory. Christian Business Connection. Connecting your business or ministry to the world.